Sky Life Palm Side. We have two packs moving around inside the northwest corner of the uh, compound. Using the laser. This will be a run against the target under our crosshairs. Five, four, three, flash. Rally Palm Zero Nine Eight Perm. We have uh, splash standby for BDA. This image was taken 17,500 feet above Quantico, Virginia. Antoniades has opened up a window showing a detailed area while to create a 1.8 billion pixel video stream. This makes it possible to zoom in and still see tremendous detail. See the people waving their arms or walking around, what kind of clothes they wear. There are no fully reliable counts of civilian deaths. But some critics claim that as many as 30% of those killed in the broader drone wars are civilians. A new drone plane for reconnaissance purposes makes its army debut at Fort Huachuca, Arizona. The tiny pilotless craft is launched from a 60-foot catapult with the aid of JATO, jet-assisted takeoff. Gets going in a hurry. After takeoff, the radio controller guides the plane to the target area where motion picture cameras make reconnaissance information available within the hour. Inexpensive to operate, it has the added feature of gathering information without endangering human life. Defense Department films of a small but effective addition to defense. He's flying TNT barrel delivering unmanned <laughs> aerial vehicles. It's daylight and infrared cameras. We can easily make out people from five, six miles away. Mechanics of how the U.S. uses drones to support troops and prosecute its war on terror. For the record, I do not believe it would be constitutional for the government to target and kill any U.S. citizen with a drone or with a shotgun. Use a device to peer into your activities, even if it's from the air outside your window or the air above your property. I think there's a right to privacy. But we would also really like to, I don't know, get some information from this guy by stripping him naked and giving him the sensation that he's drowning while a dog is barking at him. Conducting targeted killings outside of battlefields uh, for 10 and a half years, killing something like 3,500 people, 425 strikes, 375 of them under Obama. That is right. President Barack Obama is our country's all-time leader in outside battlefield sky killing. Questions about whether the administration has created the power to kill terror suspects, even if they are not involved in an active plot to attack the U.S., and they're U.S. citizens. Or against al-Qaeda, as authorized by Congress. Is there a snappier way to put that? Enhanced interrogation techniques. Thank you. about privacy concerns when it comes to journalism and drones? I think very set boundaries need to be laid out. Here's the thing about technology. Technology does not care whether or not we feel it's right. It is not going to stop. It is not going to go back in the box. It's not going anywhere. Over the past 10 years, the technological leaps and bounds we've experienced in mobile technology have been due largely to two entirely separate phenomena occurring at the same time, and then a third that relates to the first two. First, we've discovered how to fit lots of sensors into smaller and smaller devices which connect to the internet. Sensors like gyroscopes, compasses, microphones, cameras, GPS, NFC, and biometric readers. Second, we've realized just how powerful individual sensors can be when working together. Take search, GPS, and photography, for example. By themselves, these devices are useful. In concert, they bring a whole new dimension to our everyday lives. If I take a picture of a road sign, a smartphone knows the exact location, date, and time of the image capture. If I'm looking for related information or sharing my picture with others, 
That related sensor data refines the search by an order of magnitude compared to the text I can Google off the top of my head. Third, innovation fueled by the demand for this newly found convenience has inspired a generation of software engineers to push the boundaries of these smart devices to work more closely together than ever before. If I were to try to put it in a sentence, Paul, I'd say compact sensors working together fueled by creative software has caused the innovation we've seen over the last decade. Siri, is it windy outside? No, I don't think it's all that windy. About 9 miles per hour. Siri, where is the nearest airport? This airport looks pretty close to you. Siri, what planes are above me right now? Let me check that. Here's some information. 